Hey, it's Kevin from JJ Hat Center. This is a old poster. It's basically a catalog from 1895. This is the Stetson Fall and Winter Catalog, John B. Stetson. Uh, we have three of these um, still hanging up in our shop and um, they're pretty rare. They're very old. They're some of the oldest and most rare things in the shop, actually. Um, this one is from 1895, and it looks like the only thing they had back then were bowlers. Um, they have Hamburgs, they're essentially a bowler with a, a crease on the top and a little bigger brim. They're for a slightly bigger face, and some other things, low toppers, coachman type things, toppers. Uh, no fedoras. I don't think that was out yet, or at least it, had, it hadn't hit America yet. It's possible that uh, Giuseppe Borsellino uh, had that going in the 1800s, uh, and we didn't get it yet. I don't know. Um, we've got three of these. There's another one here, 1898. Okay. Fine, soft, and stiff felt hat manufacturer. Hamburgs. As you can see, there are many different types of bowlers. Some of them are very high in the crown, very, very high, almost like a topper with a round top. You can't really tell the difference, topper, bowler. Some of them have almost western brims like that. So the cowboy hat, top hat, and the bowler were almost sort of all blurred together. I mean, that's a Hamburg right down there. You can just see, that's the regular Hamburg, but that, you know, that's not really. You know, what is that? Um, so this is, yeah, pre-Fedora, this beautiful shop, JJ's. This was the very first location for IBM and International Business Machines. Um, this is in 1877. This is the oldest one. 1877, this is what was in fashion. So you've got the, uh... The lark, the wing, some of them look very western. International Business Machines, this is, this was JJ Hat Center, 1922 they opened. You can see the entrance here, the staircase in the back, see the archway over there. Yeah, okay, this was IBM. We still have a lot of uh, reliefs on the ceiling and stuff. Uh, there are four different divisions. I think it was Dayton, Dayton Business Machines or Dayton, yeah, Dayton Office Supplies, uh, Dayton something. You can see the, uh, the time clock there, the big punch time clock, pre-computer. There are sewing machines. There are telegraphs. All pre-computer IBM stuff. And getting back to this old poster, these are really rare. I'll let you guys look at this a little bit. Some of these styles. A lot of people were asking about old derby styles. Formal hats. One of the three formal hats, really, of the derby, also known as bowler. And the top hat. And the Hamburg. Those are your three basics. There are variations, many different kinds. Big brims, short brims, high crowns, low crowns, pinched, not pinched, low toppers, coachman hats, super high, really high toppers. You have ones with hourglass shapes that they call the Mad Hatter. You have ones that are straight called stovepipes. There's uh, very tiny, tiny brim toppers, big brim, all sorts of, I mean, what is that? It's like, you know. I guess everybody wore these bowlers, so there's just so many different types, you know, like this thing. What is that, you know? It's amazing, these hats. Anyway, John B. Stetson. I thought you guys might like looking at this stuff. I just closed the shop. Today was one of the, uh, the busiest days in a long, long time. It was just crazy. I had to go home and play with my little boy. Let's see there, tuck him in. I'm having a little quiet moment here at JJ's. I just thought maybe you guys would like to see some of this cool stuff.
Anyway, that's Kevin from JJ Hat Center saying goodnight to the shop. The chandeliers. Let me turn off the lights. Close the door. Now, one more thing I'm going to show you. Right up here. Oh, it's very dark. But it does say IBM up there still. Can you guys read that? International Business Machine. They started right here. You know, they've got skyscrapers all over the world now. All these different cities. This is what they started with this little store. Guys told me that their fathers used to send them in here to get parts, you know, and different, whatever, light bulbs and parts for the different machines, and, you know, that they actually remember IBM being here. Anyway, this is JJ's, so uh, closed to JJ's after hours. Definitely have one of the biggest cap selections anywhere. You know, it's like, look, there's eight cases over here, right? There's like a zillion caps of head, but then you got this case over here. And you got this case over here. If that's not enough, you got more over here. And we just have so many caps. They just keep going. I think we have the biggest cap selection pretty much anywhere. It just keeps going. And then we can't even fit the summer and spring stuff in here. All the linen and cotton stuff is exactly as big as this. So we have twice this many. All of this summer linen and cotton stuff is in the basement now. And they're also, we keep them in these drawers. These drawers underneath there. So there are caps too. There's just so many caps. I think we have by far the biggest cap selection of anyone. You know, maybe I don't know if it's the biggest cap. I mean, you need a cap, you've got a newsboy or a flat cap, skinny, wide, any type you want. The big apple, skinny apple, every type, ear flaps, leather, suede, linen, cotton, cashmere, corduroy, patchwork. Um, you just, uh, we have green caps. Tweed, uh, herringbone. We have ones that are made out of leather and herringbone. We've got your Donable tweeds. We've got your Jonathan Richards tweeds. Your Baker Boys and your Spitfires. Your Patchworks. There's so many different caps I could just sit here and list them. I mean, list. I mean we've got Sherlock Holmes. Who sells Sherlock Holmes hats? We have three different types of deer stalkers here. One, two, then we've got a big heavy Irish one over here that's so dark you can't even see it, but it's it's there, believe me. Um, Greek fisherman cap. We've got them in wool, in cotton, in leather, different types. We've got them in cashmere from New Zealand. Um, tweed hats, tweed hats with ear flaps, ones that roll up, Irish ones, Italian ones, ones from New Zealand, ones from Portugal, ones from Italy. Um, there's so much stuff in here, you know, Panama hats. We have an entire basement full of Panama hats, more than you see here. So in the summer, the entire shop goes Panama straw and everything. This time of year, we just kind of ditch them. We keep a little bit here, but most of them are downstairs. Eventually, even these will go downstairs, you know. But um, we have so many hats here, we can't even fit them, you know. It's just, things are packed, and we have to just loosen up the cases so they're not packed. And downstairs in the basement, we've actually got three rows, uh, three floors of stock. Upstairs, downstairs, and the middle floor is all just filled with just boxes and boxes of stock. So we've got styles there from last year, two years ago, three years ago, stuff from like five years ago. And, you know, we hoard things, things that are really nice. We buy extras and we, we keep them for a long time. So anyway, you saw all the cool posters and everything. It's time for me to go home. Good night, everybody. Good night, Pages.